It's Jordan. Good morning. I had another video that I recorded, but it was just like super long and drawn out for no reason. Um, I guess this V8 started kicking because I'm feeling the energy boost. Anyway, good morning to y'all. Good morning. I'm back. We're doing see my baby off in fifth grade. Got one child, a daughter. So I went to go see her all for fifth grade. Um, as y'all know, I'm looking to move closer to home. I'm looking into the DC area. I have yet to find an apartment yet, but the search is still ongoing. Um, I gotta save some money. Some of these referrals gotta start popping off or some, cause I gotta get some money up. Uh, I know I'm out here dashing. I'm about to start. About to pop off in South Highlands. I know that's my spot. I, I'm learning South Highlands in and out now. It's probably time for me to go to another spot. I really want to try Brookhaven and see what Brookhaven is about. Um, Cause they be on fire lately. I mean, they've been like that darker. Like you know, how all the areas be like the salmon color. They've been like a darker, like rose goldish color up there in Brookhaven. So I don't know if they don't have a lot of dashes up there or what, but I gotta go. I gotta. I gotta go see what that's about. I gotta go see what that's about. Um. Anyway, like I said, y'all, I'm back. Uh, I needed to recharge. I needed to see my. I needed to see my baby. I needed to see my niece. I got to see my niece, which is awesome. Got to see my daughter, which is always great. Um, got to see my mother, which is always great. Got to see my sisters, which is always great. Got to see some of my cousins. That's always a good thing. Throw that up on there. They cooked out. We had food. We chilled. I ate terribly, so like I got to get back on my grind. Like that's the only time I really eat bad is when I go home. Is because I feel like it's just cheap time to even do that. Um, shout out to everybody out here. I hope y'all out here doing what's necessary. Doing some unnecessary stuff too, if it, it, you know. But doing what's necessary mostly. It's crazy how that little recharge of just being home does so much. And I be needing it, man. I do. I be needing it. When you live in here and you living so far away from, you know, family and all of that, like I've run into people that's running away from family. Like me, I think of myself as a pretty family oriented person. Like I think of myself as moving with family in mind. Even my move down here wasn't just a, it was really to see if I could make it work, make something happen from the ground up. And granted things haven't went way that I would have liked them to go, but I'm seeing another angle, I'm seeing another way, so it is what it is, got my notifications on silent, so I, I didn't want any, um, I, I didn't want any, any um, distractions while I'm out here talking on y'all, talk, bringing y'all back with me right now but yeah I needed that recharge and I got it I needed to see the family I needed to see my babies and I got it I have one daughter she's 10 she's going into the fifth well she's in the fifth grade and of course everything I do is solidify the legacy for her to for her for her to uphold at some point. I think of myself, and I, you know, I think about my life and the way the trajectory of where my life has been and the ups and downs, and I'd be thinking to myself like, nothing about my life has been conventional, not a thing. I said that before, so I shouldn't expect anything going forth to be that way either everything about my life has been non-conventional everything even my move down here i told y'all about my move down here in prior videos man i came down here license suspended 
insurance was about a month. To, uh, I had about a month to, you know, before my insurance was going to lapse. My registration was jacked up on my car. I was sleeping on the floor in my boy Ace crib. You know, um, I didn't have any furniture, any bed or anything like that. A week later, I bought an air bed, which got me up off the floor, which was a great thing. And about two weeks after that, I ended up getting a, uh, a bedroom set. About two or three weeks after that. I'm not scared to take the risk. I'm not. I'm not scared to take the risk at all. I'm not scared to jump out there and fly. I'm not scared to jump off the cliffs. I'm, I'm not. I'm not scared of any of that. Because I never know what's going to be the thing that eventually pushes me over and what I, mean, what I mean by that is like what's going to be the thing that breaks me out and gets me to that next level and I never figure that out I, I won't find that out sitting on nobody's couch I won't find that out doing routine mundane tasks every day I won't find that out in somebody's office some company's office why are you going so slow Mr. Caravan get right around you and of course they have handicapped plates you know how they do the handicapped plate people they ain't got no kid they ain't got no cares in the world they ain't got a care in the world like, back to what i was saying i'm not scared of the risk i'm not i'm not scared of what comes with any of that i'm not scared to be by myself i'm not scared to do things on my own i can be an introvert and an extrovert My part is figuring this stuff out. Figuring this stuff out is what it is. <laughs> and not necessarily figuring life out, but just figuring out my path. You know what I mean? Every day I pray for guidance and direction and all of that. Figuring out my path is just highly important to me. Some people be looking for a partner that can kind of help them figuring out my path. That's the main. That's the main thing. And I see it. I, you know, and it's crazy because I see other people in the comment sections, and they say the same thing. You know, you're not alone in that. But even though they say that, you can't help but feel alone in it. You can have somebody sitting right next to you telling you the same exact thing that they're going through and you still going to feel alone. That's just how we're wired as humans. You can make yourself believe that you aren't, that you don't feel that way, but... And maybe you don't. I don't know. You know, like, everybody's different, so maybe you don't. But I know that when I go home and I see my daughter's face and I see... You know, I listen to my, you know, things that my child's mother um, goes through. She has two additional children. Well, two and a half. Her, um, her boyfriend also has a child. So, I always say she has two and a half additional children outside of my daughter. And, um, things just weren't always smooth sailing with me and her, of course. But they've gotten better over the years. But I see my need for being up there a lot more now, or for being just just physically around a lot more. I know that's a part of my purpose is that people need my physical being around a lot more. My mother's getting up there in age. You know she's got she she's had she's she's got her issues that she has to worry about things that she's going through that she has that she has to um, worry about but I feel like I can be the one to help out a lot because I'm the type of person that when I win everybody that's remotely close to me wins and not just financially I'm just saying like period when I win people around me win 
I've seen it done because I've won in the past. I've done things where I put myself in positions to win in the past. Now I'm just trying to set myself up to do something to break the cycle of what my family is used to. You go home, you listen to these, you know, like the goals and aspirations of people. Not even when you home, just around people that just around people that's just naturally ambitious. Me, I'm just a naturally amb ambitious person. I really don't like, I really don't take like a negative mindset to anything. It's weird. I was talking to a young lady from here, and she said that my outlook on Atlanta is negative, and I was like, no, it's not. It's realistic. It's not negative. Sometimes being realistic can sound negative because it's not what you want to hear. But who, I, who, I don't want people that's just going to tell me what I want to hear all the time. I don't, I don't want you, I don't want you to tell me what I want to hear anytime. I don't, unless it's the truth. You know, like that's the only thing I would ask of you. Just be honest with me, but. Perception wise, I don't want that. I don't want to be the person that um or or have people around me that's just gonna tell me what I want to hear all the time. Like that's one is it's it's not safe. <laughs> you lead me down the wrong path telling me what I want to hear all the time. Yeah, go ahead down, go ahead and do this. That'll work. Nah, be objective, like Give me the what, wins, and whys. You know what I mean? Hows and ifs. Give me all of that. Because that's what I'm going to give to you. I'm realistic before I'm optimistic. I tell people that all the time. I think realistically before I think optimistically. And most of the time I do both. So... Most of the time, I'm an optimistic person, but all the time, I'm a realistic person. Optimistically, I want my Oklahoma City Thunder to win the champion NBA championship next year. Realistically, with the Warriors and all these other teams, I need to consider that that might not be a possibility. My correlation here. To bring everything full circle, man, I just, like I said, I shouldn't be expecting my life to be anything conventional because it, it hasn't. It hasn't been anything conventional. So, me starting a business, me doing anything, everything will be non conventional. Everything will be non conventional. And I need to expect that to happen. Outside of being like cloudy out here today, it's actually a really, really nice day. It's a little humid. It's a little on the humid side. I will say that. I'm wearing pants today, which is crazy. I always wear shorts, but I'm wearing pants today. I don't know. I just felt like throwing them on. Seeing them on. Well, you know what really encouraged me to wear them? They didn't need to be ironed. He ain't need behind. I was like, right, I'm just gonna throw them on. <laughs> you get older, man. You just don't feel like doing the, the, the. You just don't feel like doing the regular stuff anymore. And I know Bank of America was over there. Anyway, y'all get at me in the, in, the, in the comment section. I had a other, a whole other video, but I was just my energy wasn't where I needed to be at. I need to pick my energy up. I need y'all to feel me when I'm talking. Um, I'm gonna drop this one instead and just delete the other one because I was just like, uh, like I didn't really have anything to say. And I, I didn't have everything put on a plate correctly. And I'm kind of all over the place with this video too. I ain't even. I don't even know if I'm even gonna title this this video because I'm kind of all over the place with this one too. But I'm out here dashing. I'm being. I'm in South Highlands. I just pulled up. 
I am all just coming down Moreland right now, hoping to snag some fish. And this is where I'm at, y'all. This is where I'm at. You have me in the comment section, you always do. Hope today is a pro productive, progressive, profitable day. For y'all. Hit me up. Peace.